Hello, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Craft. I am here today to have a bit of a play with these Lindy's Magicals. Um, so I've done a little bit of colour swatching, scorching, swatching. Um, I did play with these, well, this one, the Honey Puck, not Honey, Hockey Puck Black. <laughs> um, last week in my deck the year project i'll link that below um and then i asked if anybody wanted to see me have a play with the rest of them and a couple of people did so i'm back so this set was the uh, what was it called the northern lights yeah northern lights set and i got it from i want to see it well it was on ebay but i think it was is it budley or buddy crafts budley i think so these are the colours. So I did a little bit of swatching. This is the whoops. This is the black that I used last time. I just had a little play with it. And I love how it's got all these different colours in it. Black's always got lots of different colours, but these sort of explosion powders really show. Um so it's got a kind of goldy mica. Um plus there's some yellow, some pink, some blue. Beautiful. So I've taken a couple of swatches for some swatch cards. So if you see wee holes, that's what it is. Then let's do the maple syrup bronze. So this was it. Just um, I put a little, a little bit of the powder on my um, craft mat. Added a little bit of water and just painted it on. So it's a beautiful um, bronzy colour. I don't know that it is very bronze. I think it's more like a sort of antique gold. And then this is it just sort of spritzed and um, sprinkled the powder onto the paper and then spritzed it. And again, it's got loads of different colours in it. There's a little bit of black. There's a tiny bit of blue, yellows, reds. It's beautiful. So that is that one. Then the Polite People Purple. Um, I think this might be my favourite. Oh, look at that. I do love a purple. So it's got this beautiful sort of bluey one and then more of a pinky purple. And it's again, it's got that same kind of gold sheen. Um, and there's some pinks. Beautiful. And this was it just painted. Now, I did think, um, what is this one? Yeah. I think you have to mix it to get a good effect with this because this is one that I didn't mix. And look how different the colours are. This was actually for the pinky one, the bacon. But um, so I did start to mix it before this one and that one is more. Because there is a lot of different pigment colours in there. Um, so let's do the bacon. Canadian bacon blush. Now I'm vegetarian. I haven't eaten bacon in... 30 plus years but this is so pretty it's got a lot of gold in it this bit anyway um but some really nice colors in there and then as i say this was it not mixed um now whether there was a wee bit of the blue on my brush i don't know but anyway i mean i quite like that little effect but this is after i had mixed it so it's more of a it's like a rose gold really isn't it a pinky rose gold. So there's that one. And then the last one is the Emerald A. Or as I read it, Emerald A. <laughs> um, and again, it's got beautiful gold in there. And then you can see it here. There's like blue and yellow on the different sort of greeny shades. Gorgeous. And I just painted it the same way. And that one, I just added a little sprinkle when it was wet. So you can see there is different, different colours in there. Um, oh, and this is the Hockey Puck Black when it was painted. Again, I don't think I did a very good job of mixing, but it's lovely. And these ones I am intending to use um, to make my little swatch cards like I think I did this on a video years ago for some of my pixie powders, but there I've done the hockey puck. So that's the, the sort of painted on, that's the sprinkled where it's quite a depth of the colour. And then this one just shows some of the 
different pigment colours that are in there. So I want to finish those swatches for that, but also I think I could probably die cut some, maybe some leaves and flowers and things out of there to use. Um, what else have I done with it? I also... Oh yeah, I had a wee bit of a play with some... I'll show you this one. On some die cuts. So this is a Tim Holtz uh, floral, kind of modern floral die cut. And so what I did was I just lay them on my glass mat and I sprinkled I think I did the black the purple and the blush around different areas spritzed it and then once it was dry I just pressed it into my wow embossing pad and sprinkled the clear embossing powder this is an ancient one I've had for years from paper mania um, and did that I think maybe two or three times and I don't know what I'm going to do with them but I like them. I think I might do some butterfly die cuts similarly because I think they would look lovely all glossed up. Um, so yeah so that's what I've done so far. My plan just now is to have a wee bit of a go with some um, ATCs because it's always nice to make some ATCs um, and this stamp set came with I think it came with a simply cards and paper craft I'm not sure does it say it doesn't say one of the magazines anyway it's from the country diary of an Edwardian lady and I've not really used it so I thought I might do a bit of heat embossing before I start sprinkling some of these powders on so this one here I don't know what they are, are they kind of like anemones they're something anyway, it's quite a big one so I'm thinking I might be able to, oh sorry I just knocked you over with the microphone that probably made a racket I wonder if I could I'll just do the two I'm going to stamp it between the two and I'm going to use white embossing powder I think because these are quite strong colours so I'm just going to do that with my little anti-static pad and this is my wow embossing ink pad I have had various different embossing inks in the past and the WOW one is by far the best. Um, absolutely. Right, so now let me just do this. And I've had it for at least a couple years I think and I have not done anything to it and I've done a fair bit of um, heat embossing right so I'll take that off I've got a bit of paper here and this is just the white Nouveau embossing powder and clumsy which is a wonderful combination in craft room so I'm going to get rid of that embossing powder before I cope it good Scottish word cope it all over the place now I think I'll just pause it so you don't get deafened with the um, heat embossing okay so as if by magic you can see the white heat embossing there. Now I'll get my little craft mat out. Um, it's a little bit mucky. Okay. 
excuse the ring from my ring lights. But I don't have enough daylight to film about that. So what I've got is an ancient fan brush, is that what you call them? And can I get rid of that a bit? <laughs> and I'm just going to sprinkle on a bit of let me do a wee bit of this black I might go sort of dark around the outside and then going in lighter towards the middle and then I might See if I can target colour a wee bit more. Um, oh, I'll just do them both at once. Into the actual sort of flower shape, I might see if I can add a wee bit more. So that is the Hockey Puck Black. I keep wanting to call it Honey. I don't know. I don't know why. Then I, mean, I might do a bit of the purple. Polite people purple. <laughs> Love it. So that there. And again, just because I am quite clumsy. I'm just putting the lids on because then if I knock them over or I spill water or whatever, it's fine. Okay. So well, that one is the Bacon, Canadian Blush Bacon, or Bacon Blush. Okay, now I've got my Nouveau Light Mist Spray Bottle. Try and keep that brush out of the way to keep it dry. And as you just gently spritz, you see the colours. Emerging. Okay, now I've got a wee, a wee brush here. I don't want to add loads and loads of water, so I've just kind of cleaned it and I'm going to try and just use. that I've already sprayed on. So that's that. Especially when there's bits that there's quite a lot, you can see the powder sitting. I don't really want that. Um, I've tried to kind of work without sort of dragging too much of the colour, the dark colour. I don't re I want to kind of blend it and then see if I can pick up that up a wee bit. Okay, I'm just 
trying to kind of get any wee bits of powder. So I might do that a little, give that a little dry and then see where we've got to. So I've got to polish it again. Okay, so I've just dried them off a wee bit and the areas where the embossing powder is kind of stained, I've just got a little bit of just water dabbed on my finger there. And if I just run that over, it kind of pulls it up. See? So you can get that effect again. Run out of clean fingers here. Try my other hand. There we go. Now I think what I'll do is I'll take this messy mat out of the way. Video, and I'm going to put you on pause and go and wash my hands a wee bit. Okay, so they're slightly better. It does stain your fingers. So I've just grabbed my kind of box of sort of backgroundy kind of stamps because I just want to stamp on top a little bit. Um, and then see what I think after I've done that. Here's a wee texty one I might use. Um, that one, right. Let me get my right. I've got this um, brilliance ink pad, which. I think white ink is never that great, but that's the best one I've had so far. It is the Archival Pigment. Um, so I might do a bit in black and a bit in white. I've got this. I think this came maybe in a magazine or something. I don't I don't remember, but it's got this little spotty one. Um, let, me, let me stick it on top of this so I don't... Does it do anything? No. Okay. Okay. That was a bad idea. Let me do a bit of scriptiness with my black. So this is just the VersaFine Clear. And it is quite a good... And I just want to kind of get little bits, so I'm not putting it on a stamping block because I'm not doing anything like, I don't want it perfect at all. I want it sort of grungy like so. Just added a little bit of something to it. Now I feel like I want to put something on here. This is not going to stand out, but um, does it need to be something black or white? Maybe. Uh, let me just hang on. Put you on pause for a second. Okay, I've just die cut 
this little hello out from white a couple of times but it was this little set which again was a freebie with a magazine it's a spellbinders it doesn't quite stand out though so I'm wondering I wonder if it would stand out from this give it a bash okay so I've cut it out in the pinky one the bacon blush I've cut it out this is the oh that would be better what do you think so this is the maple syrup bronze and that is the Bacon blush. I think the bacon might be better. Let's cut it out again. Could add a little uh, Tim Holtzy word underneath in black, maybe. So, hello, something. World. Hello, friend. Um, hello, beautiful. Right, let me get my blue. I'm still in the camera, just a no more. So let me just put a bit of a bit of this on here. Now I do have another plan to make another couple of ATCs because there's another stamp in there with um, a little bird perched in amongst some flowers. And this morning, when I was just getting ready after my shower, I was sitting looking out the window and there was the most beautiful little birds sat in the tree in my front garden um, and there were two little bullfinches, a Mr and a Mrs. Um, so I did manage to take a couple of little photos And um, I might do another pair that I've got a kind of birdie theme. I'm definitely in my um, bird watching era where I get excited when I look out my window and see a nice bird. <laughs> oh, it's just my age. Is it my age? It probably is. I've always quite liked birds, but um, I definitely do get quite excited now when I see them. Now, I want my wee black 
pain here it is to just do a bit of black around the edge because I don't like having any white from the card showing there and then a little bit of this nouveau what's it called golden sunset so yeah my plan is to make another couple of ATCs and I will probably film that process too and I will maybe pop it on to Instagram so if you don't follow me already on Instagram, please do so. Um, and I will share the little pictures of those birdies. And then what I need. really show terribly well this line in fact it doesn't really show at all I think you can see it a little bit I wonder if I had a black like a biro that would yeah I think that's a bit better so yeah what are you up to have you got anything new or something you've not had a go with for a while that you've been having fun with in your stash I must admit I have got a couple of stamps and things that are quite new to me and Finger in that. <gasps> I do it every time. So that is my ATCs, my first ATCs with these magical, Lindy's Magicals, the Northern Lights collection. I hope that you like them. Um, if anybody would like to swap an ATC with me, please just leave me a comment and I will pop my email address um, in the description box of this video. You can drop me an email um, if we don't have each other's um, addresses and we could swap ATCs. So thank you so much for watching. Please take care and have a great day. Bye now.